That was my Lentor and courgette curry. Now, it's not authentic because I've never been trained in how to make curries. I've not even tasted many authentic ones. But it's one I really enjoy making and I eat it maybe twice a week. I'm not very good with spice, so often I'll put a massive dollop of hummus next to it. The topic I wanted to talk about this week was five a day. As in, your five pieces of fruit and veg. Firstly, I don't think it's enough. And then secondly, most people I know struggle to get their five fruit and veg, even though you can have fruit juices, which now counts as one of your five a day, which they do have the vitamins and minerals, but they don't have the fiber. So it's only really half of your five a day. But at the same time, it's still vitamins and minerals that you wouldn't have got otherwise. Now, the reason I think a lot of people struggle is because they don't want to eat fruit and veg. And it sounds silly, but a lot of people don't believe fruit and veg tastes good. And that's not because it doesn't taste good. It's because you're thinking of something else. Most people on holiday say they're going to a hot country, are very willing to have tons of fruit, especially watermelon, and they really enjoy it. However, when it comes to being back here in the UK, when it's cold and they'd rob something else, all of a sudden they stop wanting to eat fruit. Now, if you're forcing yourself to eat the fruit and vegetables, you're not gonna want to eat it. Because if every time you take the bite of an apple, you are thinking of chocolate cake or chips then your brain's going to be going this is a really bad chocolate cake because if you're thinking about it so much you're not expecting the taste of an apple or you're not thinking about the taste of the apple so you automatically think oh it's bad fruit or it tastes bad whereas when you're on holiday it's hot and you want the watermelon you're thinking of the watermelon so when you take a bite out of it you enjoy it and I think that is really one of the major points as to the reason why people won't eat fruit and vegetables because they're thinking about other foods. But if you just stop thinking for a minute and just really give it a chance, most fruit tastes amazing. You can, nobody can deny that grapes are great. And if you have to force yourself to be eating something with so much sugar, like grapes, then it's not the taste of the thing that you don't like. It's the fact you're thinking about other stuff. Thank you for watching guys. And once again, if you know a friend or somebody that's struggling to be vegan or doesn't understand how you get your protein, link them to this video, please. Between the lentil curry and the protein rice, you're not missing anything. Like, share and subscribe. Now, once again, I need your help. Please share this with anyone that you know that wants to cut down on meat, wants to go vegan, wants to be vegetarian, even just meat, meatless Mondays, just share the video with them. And if they say, where's the protein between the lentil curry and the protein rice, they have no excuses. It's a great tasting recipe, super healthy. Next week, pasta bake and an extra surprise recipe midweek. Recharge Paolo, entry six. Done.